Say 
unless if you keep going lower, turn your head back around the right way, but you see where he's going to and where he comes from and yeah. where he's going to take you to, that's the important thing. Yeah. Where he's going to take you to, because the judge says a man born woman is a few days before trouble. It's a short time here uh, on this earth from her the years that we're going to spend in eternity. And, uh, you know, but I think first of all it's going to be great. We get there. I don't think there's going to be no big eyes and little views. I think everybody will be the same as this morning. Uh, and people talking about people that uh, I hate to fight. You know, my, the, I guess the preacher could probably preach a funeral. But you don't really preach a funeral or a preacher, no, but you do what you live here. But I think it'd be a lot easier for him to stand before the people that's passed on if they know that uh, they got a better place to go to. Yeah. But now they're going to think about it and want to get to heaven. We're going to worry about who's her and who ain't there. Yeah. Uh, Forced out for other round. Yeah. Uh, I just like to see everybody go with us. Yeah. This whole community, like that, uh, somebody said the other day, uh, the Lord put it here for a purpose, this church here, you know. And I'm sure it's improved over the years, and I was thinking about before I go to the Federal Act of Pugler. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. This church started, I don't know, they might have buckets to sit on, I don't know. But the Lord blessed it, it's grown and prospered. And uh, I think about all the way that I think I was saying. I didn't say it, he said he didn't care to stay here. 15, 20 years, and the one person got saved. Yeah. Maybe I'd keep him here for a long time. Sure, maybe. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, maybe they could put us to church. Yeah. Lord, that's about it. And he's having to do it. And we're thankful for that. And, and uh, I was talking the other day, I think that there were people coming in, Johnny, they didn't talk about it once. I went last year, uh, receiving just as much as they had to come in and work the whole day. And I thought, well, I'm a natural man, that ain't right. But I tell you what, somebody went. Well, the cave got saved very much so ago. And uh, the cave got saved very much revival. But they got just as much reward we got. Maybe the Lord take them and make the right things on them. The time lasts, <coughs> we can be here, but then those others are going to be here. Yeah. Maybe they feel like this community is so good. Uh, let's get us a song up here with fellowship. And we're going to go with our own respect and say nothing to Paul. <laughs> what did we say? What? <laughs>
came and he's he's doing better and uh, he's sitting out a little bit on the porch here and I think it really happened a lot to get a little around. And uh, just remember that was in our
Good to be here. I asked I asked Holman to sing and he said I took his we already took his song from him. So <laughs> Again, 
we're certainly, we're certainly thankful to be here. And uh, we appreciate our Wednesday night service. And uh, I, I thought I didn't have much until Gib got up and he opened up and Chapter 6, and, and we'll start about uh, verse 37. Uh, still 
thinking about being weak, and I'm still thinking about uh, I'm not having anything other than in Christ Jesus today. And, and I'm thankful that I know that uh, the Lord one time saved me, and I didn't take any of my strength for Him to save me. And, and as we said, that I just stunned Him. Uh, uh, he gave me the measure of faith that it took for me to be saved. And I, uh, you know, I'm thankful today that by His strength I'm made strong today. And, and through His strength and, and the work that the Lord done on Calvary, I, I, I was able to be saved one day. I, I humbled my heart and, as we can do this evening. I humbled my heart and, and called out on the Lord. And, and I, I tapped up on His strength today and, and the work that He did that there. And, and I'm thankful that one day my Lord and, Strength, he lays uh, his life down that, uh, that I might be ha able to have a way. And, and if you think about it, he laid it all down one day that, uh, that he could come searching for something like me. I uh, the Bible says that he came uh, to seek to save that which is lost and, uh, and to, uh, to look for something like me. I'm thankful today that uh, I wouldn't say that my strength, and uh, you might be saved by your strength, uh, but it's doing by the Lord Jesus Christ and, and by all means. Pleasure to save you and me. 
Uh, it's his good pleasure. Sometimes we want things done on our time and, and we think it ought to be done right now, but I'm glad that uh, it's about the Lord Jesus Christ today. And, uh, it's on his time and, and in his time and in his place and, and how that he wants it. And, and yes, I know that you and I got a job today. I know that we ought to, uh, we need to be a mouthpiece. We ought, we ought to shine that glorious light to a lost and dying world. Uh, we ought to have the doors open here when, it, when it's time to have open that how we ought to be willing to take those in that how that need help today that are lost and undone and knowing that we can give uh, to the strength of Christ that how that he can save their soul or have their trouble so whatever they need today our Lord can do yeah. and I believe that he will he said I will no wise will in no wise cast out the Bible says in verse 38, For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And I thought about Jesus, and I thought about how I can do all things through Christ, and I thought about how that I, I'm doing the will of the Father through and by if I do the will of Christ this see, that I do the will of the Father, uh, because Jesus came to do that will, and, and I'm worshiping Jesus this season as my Lord and as my Savior and as my mediator between God and man. That is one mediator, Christ Jesus, I believe the Bible said. But the will of him that sent but the will of him that sent me. And as and, and this is the Father's will which has sent me, that all which have he which he hath given me. I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And oh, how sweet that is this seed to know that uh, what's been given of the Lord Jesus. And, and these are still the words in red written down by, uh, I know about John the Apostle, but it said all, listen, all that is given me, I should lose none, uh, but should raise it up again uh, at the last day. And, I wish sometimes this old man that I put on, he, he worries about death and he'll worry about tomorrow and, and he'll worry about uh, uh, if he's going to work or uh, pay bills or uh, things of that nature, worry about what may come along. But I, I'm glad this evening that uh, when I got saved, when the Lord, I wrote my name in heaven, when I when I met him in an old altar of prayer one day, I uh, he wrapped me up in his big hands and he'll have it that way. I wrapped me up, sealed me up. I feel that day of redemption and, and buddy uh, uh, he's going to keep that to that last day and, and he's going to come looking uh, for me to take me uh, to the good place where he's at uh, there I'll forever be with him uh, forevermore uh, not on my own strength uh, but on the, on the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ today in the work that he did and the very one that, uh, that rose out of that tomb on that third appointed morning that had the power to raise up. Hey, if he raised himself up out of that grave, I bet you don't know he'll have the power to keep me today. The strength and the power to keep me. Let's read on here. And this is the will of him that sent me, verse 40, and that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. He that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Now, now, now don't misunderstand this. And, and I thought about we we had some crazy thoughts in our mind before the Lord ever saved us. And, we worried about the day that he'd come back and, and I, I know which direction these was and all and all those silly things, but I'm glad today that uh, that the Lord is uh, He's coming looking for me that and I'm about his strength and not my own strength, but uh, it's through and by him this evening and, and nothing else but the will of my Father through and by him. And you know, you know this evening. We think about seeing the Son. We think about believing on Him. And, and I thought about how that we had those silly things. 
I ask some people look for a sign today. Uh, they'll look for the uh, the roof to cave in or or the or the thunder to come in the sky. But we know that the Lord don't work in any of that. Uh, we know that He works in the still small voice that speaks to your heart. And and I I didn't see Him come in one night with uh, with that rope on, as I said, and his sandals and all that, and, and come speak to me. But I believe that I saw Him uh, through a lie of faith one day. I believe I met Him at an old order of prayer. I believe that He came in. I believe He set His abode up in my life one day. Set it up there forever to be. Forever to be there. And it says, and, and believeth on him, see the Son, and believeth on him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. In fact, that last day again. Boy, I'm glad that, that I'll be raised up. Boy, I think about those that we buried in hope and buried in faith in these places. Brother Gil talked about how it be. How much easier it is to bury, to, to stand over one that, that's left the testimony. And oh, it surely is. And we've, we've stood over those that we don't know of. And I know that they fell in the hands of a, a righteous Lord. I, I know that. And, and I trust that somewhere, and I pray that, I pray that somewhere they, uh, they met the Lord. And I uh, that He spoke with them, and they spoke with Him. And, that I thought about how that uh, for those that uh, that's left the testimony, how that uh, we stand over them, and how that uh, we'll go out on the hillside somewhere, or, and, and we'll place them in hope, and uh, we'll place them in faith, and, and knowing that at the last day, uh, the Lord will come uh, and receive that which belongs to Him. Receive that. And then the Jews murmured. I'll raise him up on the last day. Then the Jews murmured at him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we owe? How is it then that he saith, I came down from heaven? And Jesus therefore murmured, uh, answered, and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me to all him. And I will raise him up. Again, I will raise him up at the last day. And again, I thought about the strength. And I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And the Father has to draw me. And you know, it's again, it's not about my strength, but it, it's about the Lord's strength. And it's about Christ's strength. And the Father draws me. And I, I can be saved through it by that. And I can have that strength of Jesus today. And it is written in the prophets. This verse 45, it is written in the prophets, and they shall be taught of God. Every man therefore that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh to me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, say he which is of God. He hath seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He said, your, your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness in the wilderness, and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I'm talking again about the strength of Jesus. The man that came down from heaven. That a man that eat and not die. And in verse 51, he says, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. And if any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. <laughs> and the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. And I'm thinking, I'm thankful today that the Lord Jesus, He gave His life for this world. He gave it. He gave it one day there on Calvary and, and we're still thinking about the strength and you may you may think I should have read the first verse, but I'm still thinking about I can do all things through 
through Christ, who strengthens me, and, and I thought about him giving his life to her at Calvary, that, and him shedding his blood to her, that, uh, that I may have life, if I believe upon him, I can have life this evening, I, I can have life more abundantly, I, I can have life eternally this evening, not again, not through my strength, or I not do anything that I'm going to do, but I do the work that he did on Calvary, and, and my trust in that one day, I trust him. I can have that. And he gave his life for me and you. And he gave it freely. And, and I'm thankful today. He, he said, I am the living bread which came out from heaven. And, and, and we can eat of that bread. We can eat of it freely. We can eat of his strength if you have it. We can have all that he has to offer. And we can have that freely through and by Him. Freely. He did it all that, that you and I might be able to live. He had nothing to prove. That the man that could call the, the legions of angels at, at His very fingertip to destroy this whole world. He had nothing to prove, but uh, He did all that work for me and you. That we might have strength today. That we might have life today. That we might have a right to the tree of life. That we might have a right to heaven. And, and, and I and I, I I love the I love the saying being a fit subject for the kingdom of heaven. And I probably often say that, and I've heard some of you all say that. Being a, made a fit subject for the kingdom of heaven. See, I, I, I'm nothing that's made me that other than the strength of Jesus to see. I, I've not done that anything on my own. And, and I've told you, I've, I've looked back and I've tried to find something worthy in my life that I ever did worthy of repentance. And, and there's nothing there that's, that makes me worthy. But the only thing that, that, that I've become worthy of that repentance that, that makes me a fit subject for that kingdom of heaven is is that precious, that dear lamb that, that, that gave his life to shed his blood on Calvary one day that, that took my sins up there and, and gave his very life for me and, and I believe with all my heart that he looked down up through the slants of time and, and he saw me down there and he, I need the Savior and I, I believe he saw you need the Savior. And knowing that he needed to he needed to do the work that you and I might be able to be saved. Knowing that our strength would fail. Knowing that we couldn't do it. But knowing that through and by Him, we can do it to see. Through and by His strength. The Bible says, He, he said, I am the bread of life. And he that believes upon me hath the everlasting life. He's that bread that comes down from heaven. He's that man of it. And we know of the, the story how you know, that they were fed back there in the, in the Old Testament. But he's talking about the manna today that comes down from heaven. And you may say, oh, I've never seen anything drop out of the sky that, that I'd eat that would feed me. I'm talking about a spiritual manna to see. I'm talking about Jesus Christ, that, that spiritual life that we can eat of the bread of life and we can have life eternal. We can have strength through and through and by Him to see. Give us a song of invitation. Let me read it. Let me read that one more time. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. We might not have a tattoo on us. I might not have one card in the back pocket. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. I can do it all. There's not a mountain that I can't climb. You may say, well, if you go over there to Mount Everest or one of those places, you'll put him away or something like that. His dead body's all over the place. You know that that's true. 
But there's not a spiritual mountain that I can climb. There's not a mountain of sin that's in my life that can't be moved out of the way by my strength, through by His strength. And there's nothing that I can't overcome in my life with the strength of Christ. And all those that stood before me before said, the preacher, I just can't believe it. I can't do it. You know what? I can't live it either. But I got the strength of Christ to see. And the Bible says, Brother Mark, I, I can point to the Bible. The Bible says I can do all things through Christ and stand. I can do it. I can be saved you see, because I can be saved through the, the strength of Christ. And I can get things worked out this evening in my life. Not because of all my counseling or good works, but through the strength of Christ, I can. I can have a hipper in my life. I'm glad this evening he's my hipper. I'm glad this evening he's my strength. My strength. This altar is open. If you need to pray, I'm going to ask him with it. Let's sing us a song as we stand. As we stand. Listen. I can do all things. I can do all things through Christ.
appreciate the same. Appreciate that everyone that's done this walk have a vision. Has anybody got a word on their heart or something? Share it with us. Testimony. Just want to praise the Lord. You know, it's crazy. crazy. I, 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 I was talking to a buddy who was working with us last night. I said it was that person. He goes a long time. And I said that to him. I said, hey, they don't want to do it. They pray. And I said, is that work too soon? Praise the Lord. But I have to admit things. I've got to mention this, but this past Saturday, we didn't give me one after. I had earlier. And I stopped being gas. Gas station. You know, boy, that old school is. And I hate to tell us, went all back in. He went where he needed to be. He came out of gas station. I seen him walking. He stopped by talking to me. I said, I think so. He said, about two years ago, 2019, I got to say. He said, it's happening. His mom and dad, somebody, uh, all trained. He said, he's got clean training. He said, he's got nothing to train. So he was gone all about him, how he started going. Here I am, I cleaned up. He got that clean. I said, no, buddy, I didn't know. And he said, no, that's it. Brother and child. Yep. Yeah. I didn't hear it. Good to hear. We appreciate that. Good testimony. Praise the Lord. Someone else. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails in all my days. I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up. Till I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Cause all my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. Every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing of the goodness. I love your voice. You led me through fire in the darkest night. You were close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. And I have lived in the goodness of God. So my life you have been all my life you have been so, so good. Every day I live, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Cause all my life you have been faithful.
know that someone made a choice to serve the Lord. Thank you for that. Someone else. Since you didn't say no one, you dismissed. 